Good morning, Jen Arjen. Good morning, too. Okay, Jen Arjen, can you tell me about yourself? I am Jen Arjen Elsano, 28 years to be old, and I am single mother, and I have a two children. I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I have experience for this. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia because this is near of Asia. How are you qualified for this job? I am 20 years old. Okay, so how are you qualified to become a housemaid? I am qualified being a housemaid because I am hard-working housemaid. Okay, may I know what your educational level is? I am secondary level. What was your recent working experience? My recent working experience is working as domestic helper. Which country was that? Doha, Qatar. For how many years? I'm working for two years. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, I have experience. Whose babies are you taking care before? For my employer in the year 2012 to 2013. Okay. Okay, so how about elderly people? Do you have experience? I've been experienced in the Qatar employer to assist. Okay, do you have any other special skills? I have special skills for cooking. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, I am willing. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, I don't have any problem with that. I'm willing to work with them. Okay, currently, are you still working now? I'm not yet working. Do you know how to cook? Yes, I know. Okay, what sort of food can you cook? I can cook Qatari food and Sri Lankan food, especially Filipino food. Okay, are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, Mom, I'm aware. Okay, from all the house chairs that I have mentioned to you, which do you like most? I most like is cleaning. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your children? My husband. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am, I understand. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender your handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am, I understand. Okay, so are you agreed to the rules and regulation regarding the using of the cell phone? I will agree, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years contract, ma'am. Okay, can you describe for me your attitude? My attitude is I have a good behavior and I have my self-discipline to what my employers feels and that's fine. I am hardworking now. Okay, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I can assure you, mom, to hard work in Malaysia because of the poverty and to help my family. Okay, can you promise not to use the house telephone without the permission of your employer? I can promise, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can, can you promise. promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. I can promise. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? I can promise, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, I really understand. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? I don't have any pay now. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? None, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defects? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? 
No, ma. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, I am medically fit, ma. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma. I'm not allergic for any food. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma. Are you prepared to eat the type of food you can be given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. I can eat. Are you afraid alone in the house? What, ma'am? Are you afraid alone in the house? No, ma'am. I'm not afraid. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? I'm not afraid, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? I can promise to work. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? Mom. Do you have family members working in Malaysia? No. Okay, Jen or Jen, we have finished our question section. Yes, for case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to respond to it. Yes, Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will do, Mom. I'm not going home and I will continue to finish my contract and I'll just send only for their financial. Okay, if in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? To my employer, Mom and Sir, have a good day. Please choose me as your housemaid and I will promise to do my best to be hardworking as your maid and to do my responsibility always to support my family. That's all, Mom and Sir. Thank you and God bless. Okay, tell us about yourself again. What's that? Tell us about yourself again. I am Gina Arjun Asano, 28 years old. I am single mother and I have a two kids. And why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I want to work in Malaysia because I have an experience for this. Okay, thank you very much, Jen Arjun. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, ma'am.